In this video, I'm going to show you how to notch out a finger hold handle in a door just like this. Hey, what's up guys? Yes, it's your main man JB and welcome to this video and welcome to the brand new workshop. Oh yes, a lot more of my videos are going to be filmed in my new workshop, so I'm really excited about that. Got lots of work to do in it yet to make it exactly how I want it, but uh, hey, this is the first of many, so check it out. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, that'll be absolutely awesome. Anyway, the job that I've got right now is to put a notch in some doors. You see, I've got a few doors to do. I'm doing an under stairs cupboard um, sort of project at the moment. I've nearly finished, but all I've got to do is cut out some finger holes, some notches, um, to actually open the doors and the drawer. And as I've said already, I'm going to be using the router. Now, if you haven't used a router before, I do recommend you go and check out this video, which will give you a bit of an idea on how to use a router for the first time, and more importantly, how to use it safely. So the first thing I'm going to need to do in order to cut this out with the router is to make a jig. There's no way we're gonna try and do this freehand. The, uh, if you don't know already, the router is a pretty powerful tool and uh, it's a bit tricky to cut a straight line, to be honest, freehand. So uh, we're gonna use a jig, we're gonna make it, set it up on here, cut these out, and uh, we'll be done. So this is a very rough idea of where it is and how it's going to look. But what we're going to do is use uh, a piece of ply, just like this, and I'm going to cut this up and make this jig that goes around it. So we basically just follow the line of this jig to cut that out perfectly. So what I've done here is marked the actual size of the notch or the cutout that I want. Then what I've done is put a, I've got a 12 millimeter diameter router bit in my router, as you can see. And the thing about these type of routers is you've got the same distance from here to the end of the cutter or the middle of the cutter all the way round to here. So I'm going to be using this part of the router as a guide. Obviously this is less, so I'm not going to use this section. Then with the cutter in, I've put the cutter on this point here, the furthest side or one side of the notch, and then I've marked the base of the router on the board here. So I know when this part of the router is there, the cutter is going to be right on the inside of that line, and then I've also done exactly the same here. So when that's in line with that, that cutter, that end of the cutter, side of the cutter is going to be right there. So that is going to give me my length. Then I do exactly the same thing to get the width of it. So I will just put the cutter in position like so. That's pretty close. And then I'll just mark that somewhere there. And then with a tape measure, I can just measure what that is. Now I've cut a few pieces of plywood here. And this is going to be the piece which runs along the back. Then I've got two which will ultimately be my stops, which will go here and here. So already you get a bit of an idea of how this is going to work. As I run the router in here, it will only cut out this section. But what I need to do is fix this together. So I'm going to fix that onto there and that onto there. And before I finish this, I'm also going to put a strip under here. So I got exactly the same depth uh, when I use this jig again for another job or the other doors that I've got to do.
Okay, so there's the jig. I'm really pleased with that. I've glued and screwed it, so that's solid. That's not going anywhere. So what I will do now in order to find or to get this in the right position, I'm going to mark a centre point on here and then I'm also going to mark a centre point on this part where the notch is going to be and then I just line the two up, putting that on there, line the centre point up and then I know that's exactly where it needs to be. Now, you don't want to leave this loose, obviously, so what I've got here is I've allowed a bit of space on here to clamp it. Now, you could screw it, but that's as long as you don't mind screwing into your piece of work. So there's my centre point. There's my centre point. On there. Move it along. Boom. That's where we want to be. And we'll just double check that by putting the router in position yeah that looks pretty good to me now it is a beautiful day outside so rather than get all dusty in the workshop I'm going to take this outside and do it out there but just before I start uh, I'm not going to go through this in one hit we've got 18 mil MDF and uh, you know a router bit could go straight through it um, but as I'm doing it by hand it's more likely to kick um, if I do it like that and it doesn't always give you the smoothest finish so I'm going to probably do it in three hits just setting the depth um, you know a third two thirds and then all the way through So there we go, four doors have now got this finger notch pull handle in them. And despite the fact that some of them have got pencil markings around them that aren't correct, all these notches are exactly the same. So when they sit under the stairs, they all follow this same angular line. If you want to check out the finished product, I'm going to leave some pictures on my Instagram. So uh, have a look in the description and you'll see the link to my Instagram and you can check this job out real soon. So I did end up only going through this in two passes. The cutter that I had was actually quite good. It was a 12 millimeter cutter that I had. Um, so yeah, I, I just did it in two passes and uh, it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it. But when you are using a router, remember to wear goggles, wear a face mask, wear ear defenders or earplugs and uh, consult a professional if you're not quite sure what you're doing. As always, no responsibility can be taken for any accidents that you might have after watching this video. So uh, guys, be safe out there. Right then, so all I've got left to do now is to sand these up a little bit and uh, paint them, I guess. So uh, that's it from me. Remember to subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I do hope you found it helpful and uh, any useful and interesting comments, stick those in the box down below. Right then, I'll see you lot on the next video.